this is Beyond the Blue RC1. Today I'm going to go over the Nano CPS made by Blade and Horizon Hobby. Now, it doesn't quite look like this anymore. I will say, it doesn't quite look like that anymore. This is all that's left of the stock chopper. Main gear, shaft, swash plate, and head, and landing gear, and mainframe. That's it. I purchased a total conversion kit from Raycon Heli. So. That is what it looks like now. I did have to modify the box so it could fit back in the stock box. When I pull this out, you'll see that I have cut a hole right here so the landing gear can slip right through. Because the landing gear are larger than the stock landing gear. So I made that modification to the plastic. Really easy to do, just used a pair of Um, Lexan scissors used to cut out, you know, RC car bodies. And that was it. Easy to do. Same thing on the on the inside. I cut out a hole in the inside so the landing gear can so the landing gear can slip right in. You don't need to make make as big a hole on the inside as you do on the top there. But. So, of course, let's get the transmitter out. small hole on the inside too so the landing gear can slip through. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. I did purchase the brushless upgrade kit. I have not installed that yet. I will at the later date. I just want to make sure this is flying the way I want it to with a stock motor in it before I just try to upgrade power system. So, yeah. I got two canopies. I got the blue one and the green and yellow and red. What you'll need to do this conversion is good screwdriver, highway grade if you can get it, so you don't strip out any screws, pliers, and some tweezers. And that's really all you need because these screws, these screws are tiny. And you will need the stock spindle tools that come with a helicopter, so you don't need to buy the Raycon aluminum ones, you can just use the stock ones. Those will work just fine. And last but not least, you will need, definitely need, a swash leveling tool, which you can get from Raycon Heli as well. I think Micro Heli makes one as well, but I like Raycon better than Micro Heli. Personally, I think this stuff's higher quality. So I've, I've done, used both. And I just prefer Raycon Heli's machining and their stuff just seems to work better. I, don't have, I have less issues. So that's the other canopy. Okay. So there she is. Carbon fiber frames. Left and right side, carbon fiber tail fin, all kinds of aluminum parts on it now, no more slop, everything's real tight, real nice.
nice and snug. There's no more play. It's a nice Raycon Heli. Anodized little etching all over it. I mean, it's probably, I don't know if it's going to show up in the video or not. And it's hard to see. Here we go, blade grips. Just a little bit, just little blade grips. So I had to basically build the entire heli over again. You had to remove this board, so you have to take out these two screws on top of the board. And remove these little grommets, and then it'll come right out of this thing here. You see the four holes that it came out of, the grommets came out of, right there. Yeah, that was a little bit of a pain just to get those grommets out without tearing them. So just be careful <laughs> when you're doing this, for sure. And as far as little screws, just be careful you don't lose little screws. Are really easy. I dropped a couple and got lucky they fell on my pants and not on the floor. So um, I swooled it up, hovered better than it did stock, but that being said, the swash on the stock was way off. So I think that um, Horizon could have done a better job leveling that swash out from stock because it handled like. It would handle it awful. I had to trim it out, which you're not really supposed to do with fly bar, <clears throat> fly bar models, and it just did not work right. So once you get it all together, it took about five hours, five and a half hours to do the whole thing, and that's also because I had to not only do the conversion, but go back and which isn't a huge deal, but I had to level the swash, and then once I leveled the swash, because it was so off, then I had to try to get the blades back to zero pitch as best as possible, which is basically by turning your blades kind of side by side like that. And then putting your transmitter stick mid-stick and seeing how they are. Now once I put the battery in, in. Let's see. <clears throat> I came pretty close. It's close. I could do, maybe do some more adjustments, but it's good enough for now. So put the battery in. Power it up. Yep. Right now it's in throttle hold mode. It's all the way, it sticks all the way down. The file stick goes all the way down, the left stick. So let's go mid stick, which is right about. It's close, that's where I have it. It's just a little bit below mid stick. And the pitch is just about zero. They're about even. So, yeah. They don't make a zero a pitch gauge that's going to fit these blades. And I don't think I want to try to put pitch blade on these little baby blades that bend them. To, so, that's how you're going to do it. That's how you're going to see if you got zero pitch and mid stick. If your blades are level when they're back like that. Or forward. However, but parallel to each other. You want your blades parallel to each other. And then make sure they're they're pretty close. They are pretty close to being being there. <clears throat> so that's how you do that. And then of course the swash leveling, you use the swash level tool. You take your head completely off so it's just the swash your swash tool on there pretty straightforward and just if the links aren't flush with the bottom of the tools and you make the adjustments whichever way so that's how you do that the hardest thing of this thing was just the itty bitty screws and 
trying not to drop them. Trying to screw them into the Dell rim that hadn't been had anything screwed into yet. And got it together though. So it took about five and a half hours or so to get it all together and get it all set up. So let's put that canopy back on. <clears throat> Canopy fits nice and snug. Now the um also the tail boom has a notch on it right here for the stock frame and it fits in that notch and then you get that little tilt. Well this does not have a notch. You have to kind of eyeball where you think it's supposed to be and then go from there so that's I guess that's not a big deal it seemed to fly fine when I test flew it off the carpet just to maybe a foot off the carpet I don't want to fly it too much because I yesterday because uh, the Loctite wasn't quite dry yet so I didn't want it to get too crazy with that but, but yep there she is that is the Nano CPS with the Raycon Heli standard frame upgrade kit that I got from Raycon Heli. And that was about, I think it was 150 for the kit. So, pretty sharp looking. Looking forward to getting a flight in and we'll see how she flies. This is Beyond the Blue RC1 here again with the Nano CPS with the Rackon Heli frame conversion kit. This is the standard frame conversion kit for Rackon Heli. So I'm going to do a maiden flight of it and let's see how it goes. There's a lot less play in these aluminum parts and they run the stock parts so hopefully because it is heavier so we'll see how it flies slightly heavier get out of throttle hold we're in normal mode That's pretty good. You know the motor's struggling a little bit. So it's a heavier frame. So I think I will need to do that brushless conversion for more power. But yeah, it flies. It flies just fine. Like great actually. I don't have that wobble. Remember that wobble I had before with it? Trying to make a movement and then you get kind of right. get kind of crazy. I remember? It doesn't do that now. I think I have way too much play in those plastic components. I might need to um, adjust the pitch too. So I might need to come up more with the swash plate, or come down more with the swash plate to get some more pitch in the blade. I think that could be my issue as well. I don't think I'm quite to zero pitch at mid stick. Once I get over mid, it's better. So that's another adjustment I gotta do. But that's what maiden flights are for. All right, this is, we're back again. This is the second battery. Had another battery in there. We'll try it again with this this battery. I'll throw a hold. I think I need some new batteries. Yep. 
broken drift now because I crashed it. So I need to recalibrate the um, safe mode thing. It's kind of annoying. I wasn't doing this a minute ago. But definitely heavier, definitely not as much punch with that brushless motor. For sure. So I land it. This is the uh, Beyond the Blue RC1. I hope you enjoyed watching this video.